welcome back. Uh, probably the one thing I like the most about these builds is uh, first setting up on which way you're going, what, what's the model that you're gonna represent. Uh, been looking at some references, definitely going with the Eastern Front. Found this in one of my books. Uh, one is exactly number 14, not sure, maybe. Uh, but this is from the uh, 11th Panzer Division. Uh, Panzer Regiment 15, Eastern Front. And here's the type I'm modeling, you know, with the angular front, no cupola, no ha uh, commander's cupola with a two door uh, hatch. Uh, looking around, I also found Master Modeler's Night Shift, uh, Martin uh, Kovac or Novak. He was working on a Panzer II. So these images, loved how the uh, the extra bits are hanging around. Same type, angular front, no commander's cupola. Uh, like how he set up, and you see that in some of the pictures, the extra track links up front. Found this in my tank encyclopedia. Uh, and you can see there's some, you know, how the links go on the, on the tank. You can't just put them there, even though I guess they could uh, uh, solder the, you know, uh, some of the links and then add the other ones. And on Night Shift's uh, model, when he was setting them up, he mentioned he, he was using like these little fittings there. Uh, field adaptations, of course. He didn't put anything on the top, which I was kind of surprised. They can't just be lying there. So, so that's more or less where I'm going with this. Uh, I'm gonna use that unit, 11th Panzer Division, uh, 30th or whatever I mentioned. Uh, 15 Panzer Regiment of the 11th Panzer Division. Have some references, the simpler, sometimes the better. Uh, this is when I mentioned, uh, this is an F with a flat front and the extra bit on the back. I have parts to do this one, but it's a C with the angled here, but I'm probably gonna change it to an F because I don't have an F and I have, this will be my fifth Panzer V. So for variety, probably gonna go with this one from the sixth Panzer Division, Panzer Regiment 11. But that's for another day. On this one, again, I mentioned, you know, one of the things I, I once you s decide where you're going, then how you gonna put the things on the model. Uh, so then I made up with micro fasteners uh, cut some rectangles of styrene, added the micro fastener. In the images I found, the the nuts are are sticking out, so so they probably uh, uh, can. The best word I find is soldering, but they attach those to the hole, and then uh, with these little pieces they they uh you know they fix them to the hull field mods so if you just see the the track links it doesn't make any sense how they would stay there but if they have these little fittings it makes all the sense uh, i'm going to use two fittings for the top and three for the side as thinking that you know for the front going here uh, on a vertical surface thinking well they would need more so so I'll I'll use you know the middle 
this here. And then a couple from the edge up there. And some of those, those will go on. So when I paint these, after I paint them, then I'll just glue that on and then glue the track links directly to the vehicle. But it's one thing, you know, I, I just love how as you're going along, uh, you're like solving problems. The, the, the kits themselves are relatively basic. These are the instructions of the pre-built uh, of the pre-built model. Not sure exactly of which, but it looks like of the early because you see the rounded front. Decided to remove the front fenders and the 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 front area of the fenders, and the same on the back. Most of the images you see. Uh, the tanks don't have those like here. Well, actually there they do. But for me, it doesn't make much sense how those would last with all the junk being thrown around the tracks. Uh, these ones don't have the rear and I don't think they have the front. That's a nice looking tank also. This is a, a C 1941. It's like a doctor's vehicle of the 7th Panzer Division, 1941. Ah, that could be another, but painting this would be a mess. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna add some pictures. I also have some other small pieces of, of track links. Uh, still not sure, but I might add some welded is the, the word i was looking for my goodness welded you know some of these would not be extra tracks they'd just be welded on to the to the vehicle as extra protection so i might go for that look again they had extra armor here well it would make sense that they could also put some extra track links on on similarly uh, you know areas like here like here like there you know i give it a different look definitely gonna go with the uh with the ones up front with those fittings so go here so it's shaping up, as you saw in the previous, I'm using the, uh, the stock models, uh, tools that usually takes on, takes on a long time to get ready. So, so that's ready. Uh, and we'll go from there. Quick video. What's next? Probably start uh, getting some some paint on the model i'm gonna repaint it panzer gray and and i do something that the markings is in such tight quarters for my stencil i'll i'll avoid i'll cover the markings because those crosses are fine that cross is fine so i'll cover them as i repaint and then later i'll remove the the masks uh, and and with all the oversprays and and the uh, the weathering, everything will be blended in. But that way, I I don't have to do the markings, uh, and uh, and we'll go from there. Or later. <laughs>